Is there anyone in the room from Alabama? Now look, I know that I did not hit every single state here on board. So, on the count of three, if I didn't say your state, just yell out where you're from. Let me hear it. Here we go. One, two, three. I didn't get any of that. I got absolutely y'all from Alabama. Well, hey, wherever you're from, once again, welcome aboard. Now look, our team members here on the Ecstasy, there's over 800 team members on board working hard to take care of y'all, everybody. And we represent over... I love y'all. <laughs> we represent over 70 different nationalities, and you're gonna hear a ton of different accents and dialects this cruise. And I know you're looking at me like, where is he from? I can't quite place it. But let me tell you, I am from a little tiny city. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may not have. It's known as uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. All right, we got Fort Lauderdale fans in the house. Now, folks, I'm really excited for this cruise, and I hope that all of you are as well. Because not only do we have so many special events and activities planned for you to make sure that we do send the ecstasy off with a bang, but I have been here since day one, everybody. And I, like, I don't mean like 1991, I've just been a little baby. But I signed on to this ship on February 5th, and I have been here all the way through the entire final run of the Carnival Ecstasy. So, let me just say, as special as this cruise is to each and every one of you, it is just as special to me and to all of the crew members here on board. And we could not be more thrilled and more honored to have each and every one of you on board. Now, I know we have a lot of returning cruisers, and y'all know the tips, the tricks, the secrets, but maybe you've never heard this before, and especially for our first timers, I have two very important pieces of information for you on how to make the most of your cruise vacation. Now the first is to just get involved, everyone. All right, life is what happens when you're sitting on the sidelines and watching it pass by. So this cruise, get involved in anything that's going on around the ship. Even if it's just sitting and watching the band, all right? Coming out to our trivias, our games, our pool games, our Lido events, our dance parties, our sing-alongs. Come and get involved in everything that's going on, all right? Especially when you're in this lounge, the Blue Sapphire Lounge. This is your home for entertainment here on board the Ecstasy, all right? We have an amazing playlist cast of singers and dancers that I know Waylon told you about earlier on. And folks, they're putting on a couple of incredible shows for you. When you come and see them, all right, we don't want you to just sit there quietly and watch. We want you to join in on the fun. And during these shows, if you hear songs that you love, please, by all means, join in and sing along at the top of your lungs. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put y'all to the test right now. If you know the words to this one, I need you to join in with me. Are you ready? Well, I guess you say, come on. feel all warm and fuzzy down in your tum tum, then you'll need some tums, tums. But look, don't just get involved, everyone. Step outside of your comfort zone, all right? That's my next piece of advice. There's so much excitement to be found outside of your comfort zone and so much fun as well. So this cruise, if you've never sang in front of a room full of strangers, come on out to karaoke, sing your heart out, folks. You never know. You might like it, all right? If you never get dressed up for Halloween, you brought a costume with you, we've got a big Halloween deck party. Put your costume on, let your freak flag fly, you never know, you might like it. If you're vegan, try a guy's burger. You never know, <laughs> you might like it. Now listen up, apart from all of the very special events that we do have planned throughout the cruise, we do have two happening that have happened on every single voyage that the Ecstasy has set sail on since we come back into service, and they're two of my favorite events. Tomorrow at 12 o'clock on the Lido deck is the Groove for St. Jude. And I know you all are familiar with St. Jude Children's Hospital, the work that they do, the work that we've done with them. And listen up, I got a lot of shirts left on the ship, and by the time y'all are gone, I don't want a single one of them left. So come join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock on the Lido deck 
Grab yourselves one of our Group for St. Jude t-shirts, folks, and we're going to do some great work to help the kids of St. Jude this cruise. And the second happens on the last day of the cruise, and it's called the Military Appreciation Gathering. Now, Carnival, very proud. I haven't even said the good part yet. Carnival very proudly carries more active duty and retired military service members than any other cruise line in the world. That was the good part. And on the last day of the cruise, we are all coming together just to simply say thank you to our service members here on board. And folks, listen, that event is open to absolutely everybody. So I want this room as full as it is, as full as it is right now for that military appreciation gathering. And you know what? I want to do something real quick. Francis, can you turn the lights on for me, please? Wow, this is the fullest this lounge has ever been. Oh, all right, hold on real quick. Who let the dogs out? I know y'all are wondering, we got 101 Dalmatians in the corner over there. All right, but this isn't about all of you, maybe one of you. But folks, what I would love to ask right now, real quick, if we do have any active duty or retired service members in the room, can you just stand it up for me for just a second, everyone? And y'all, give them a huge, huge round of applause. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank y'all so much for your service. And I do hope to see all of you at that military appreciation gathering. But there is one of you who caught my attention, right? Sir, in the Friends Inspired shirt. Yep, that's you. What's your name? Ron. Ron. Ron, if you don't mind me asking, what branch did you serve in? The Air Force. The Air Force. Yeah. For how long? 24 years in the Air Force, everybody. Well, 24 years in the Air Force, you must be a pretty brave guy. No? Rob, you know what I'm about to ask you. Rob, are you brave enough to come up on stage for the very last Welcome Aboard show in the history of the ecstasy and help me out with the next part of the show? Give it up for Rod, everyone! So I gotta put this bad boy on. Come on up, Ron. Y'all good? He's good, all right. Now, Ron, let me ask you a question. Where are you from? Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Well, not many fans of Arkansas. Or, what's this? Alabama! I love it here. Uh, all right, so Ron, you're from Little Rock, Arkansas. Who are you cruising with? I'm cruising with my lovely wife, Carol. Your lovely wife, Carol. And it says season 46 on your shirt. Is, are you celebrating an anniversary of this cruise? 46 years. 46 happy years of marriage, everyone. All right. Now, Ron, do you show Carol every day how much you love her? Hold on a second. Or just turn the volume up? Turn the volume up. Okay. I turn it down. Say that because the question I just asked was, do you show Carol every day how much you love her? That's, that's how we last. That's how they lasted for 46 years. Sorry, Don't worry about it. Ron, you stay right here. I'm going to talk to Carol for a second. Hey, Carol. No, no, Ron, 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 stay up here. Stay up here. I'm not talking to you yet. Come on now. Carol, does Ron show you every day how much he loves you? Does Ron ever dance for you? Turn it up again. What the hell did he just say? <laughs> uh, so it's safe to say that Ron has never danced for you in front of a full auditorium of, I don't know, 700 people? No. Carol, happy 46 years. That changes tonight. <laughs> All right, Ron, come over here with me. Now, this is what I'm going to do I'm going to teach you the simplest dance of all time. All right, you're going to do it. You're going to put it together for Carol, and on the big finale, this audience is going to go crazy. Are you ready, Ron? Yes, he is. Let's 
big one. <laughs> Carol said yes, that means you're ready. Yes, okay, are you, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right. Okay, so I want you to stand right here on this line, facing that way. Okay. Now, Ron, what you're gonna do with your right hand, just give me a little flicking motion like this. All right. So far, so good. Now, give me just a little bounce. All right. So far, so good. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take a few steps to the front, crossing your right leg over your left. It looks like this. He's, he said, "Oh my!" All right. Let me see it. Let me see it. You know what I mean? Okay. Just take a few steps to the front. Just, to, you can go like, you can shuffle down if you want to. Big finale. Um, give me a, a kick. <laughs> just, just, as, just as high as you want to go. Just as high as you want to go. Kick. All right. Now, let's see how this goes. Give me a spin. Give me a spin. <laughs> that works. That works so far so good. Now, Ron, this is the big finale, okay? The last thing that you're gonna give me is a big old <laughs> Very simple, right? Um, yeah. All right, Ron, are you ready to put it all together? Okay, Ron, I'm gonna walk you through it. Now, I'm gonna face that way. I'm gonna have Sam, our amazing sound technician, play a song for you. When he plays that song for you, you just give me the little bounce and the flick, all right? I'll tell you when to start moving forward, and then you're gonna go kick, spin, hee hee. I'm right here with you, Ron, don't worry. All right, Sam, hit it. way outside of your comfort zone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you and Carol our entertainment VIPs for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> You're welcome, hold on, let me tell you what that means. We're gonna send you a package to your room. It's gonna come with your VIP lanyards. It's also gonna come with an all out fanatic bingo package. You can play any game this cruise. As well, we're gonna send you some chocolate covered strawberries and a bottle of wine to enjoy a dinner in the dining room one night this cruise. Not only that, Ron, we've got the most coveted prize on the seven seas for you. And Waylon, your bingo host, is bringing it out right now. A big red balloon. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ron. I want you to know something. Do you know what this is? He does. Ron, we have shockingly few of these on board. I have saved them for the past two months for this last voyage. And Ron, there's not many left to go out, but for being one of our entertainment VIPs, this is for you. Yay! That's gonna be worth some money one day. But last but not least, Ron, as our entertainment VIPs for our production shows this cruise with our incredible playlist cast, what we are gonna do is we are gonna make sure that you are treated as such in this lounge. So, we've saved the best seats in the house for you and Carol, and they are waiting for you right now, right there. Hold on, right there. Right there. Francis, right there. Right there. But Carol, you come on over and meet him. And Ron, there's a bottle of champagne on ice for you to enjoy for the rest of the cruise. Cruise for the rest of the show. Give it up for Ron and Carol, everyone. All right, now listen up, y'all. I have talked for way longer than I meant to. And I told you earlier that we did bring in some reinforcements to help make sure that this is the cruise of a lifetime for each and every one of you. So right now, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you 
our brand ambassador, and our senior cruise director, Yana Yalova, please. Give it up for the one and only John Heald, everyone! Look at this man. Look at him. Skinny. Good looking. I'm wearing a girdle. I hate you. I really can't stand you. Look at this, we look like the number 10. I'm wearing underwear older than you. Go away. You're in for a treat with this young man, let me tell you. We're very proud. That's Alex, everybody. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm ever so sorry, but I don't know the name of the gentleman on the lights, but could you press the on button so I can see all these wonderful pills? Turn it off again. Turn it off. Turn it off. Sorry, I'm joking. Turn it off. Hello. Wow, look at all of you. Look at all of you. Uh, a few months ago, we had less than 100 cabins sold on this ship. Wow. And I happened to say, you know what? We need to give the girl a goodbye, a proper goodbye. And thanks to each and every one of you, a month later, the ship was sold out. And that is, I think, because you love this ship, this class of ship, yeah. and you wanted to come and say goodbye. You dressed up as Dalmatians. <laughs> There's one brown dog over there. That must be a Shih Tzu. I don't know what that is, but that's some different kind of breed. <laughs> Shih Tzu, where did that come from? Um, you came on here to celebrate the fact that you've been on here once, twice, 10, 20 times before and you wanted to say goodbye. I met people who were on the very first cruise back in 1991. Are any of those people here? Did you come and join me? Yes, there are some over there and some up in the balcony. And those two people there, you see, um, conceived a baby on the cruise. And I, I had the cabin next door to them. And that was the longest three minutes of my life, so that really was. <laughs> they were on the very first cruise, and I think it's wonderful that you've come back here again. I really am. We are going to celebrate a lot. We're going to do some special activities uh, tomorrow at some time. I don't know when it is. Uh, we're going to have all of the department heads here because I want you to know a little bit about not just the past history of the ship, Oh, I forgot, we've got a, an interpreter. Hello. Hello, hello. Shih Tzu. I want people, Shih Tzu. A big Shih Tzu. I knew we'd simplify it. Um, we've got lots of activities, uh, we've got all the department heads coming out with the captain. I want you to know about what's going to happen when you leave because it's fascinating to go behind the scenes and find out a little bit about uh, what's going to happen when we say goodbye to the ship. Then we're going to do some other things which I'll leave as a bit of a surprise. Um, and then we're also going to raffle off some of the things that you can see as you walk around. All the money is going to go to St. Jude Children's Research. I didn't want to, I, there are some things we can't let you take, like this pillar, for example. <laughs> Don't take that. Um, and please leave a few pieces of cutlery on the table on Friday. Don't be like walking. But we've chosen some great things for you, which I hope you're going to enjoy. Um, bidding on and then we're going to give you something which will uh, uh, sign and we, we want to make this a really memorable memorable last cruise because as I walk around 35 years five and a half million guests have walked up the gangway of this ship in the last 30 it's incredible 
And yet there are one or two little things that when you look at it, you think maybe she is a little bit showing her age. But it would be wrong for me, because I've been with the company the same number of years uh, that this ship has uh, had plus a lot more. I think she looks absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to ask each and every one of you for $5 a person. We're going to buy the ship. Yes! Done! And we're going to sail her from Cleveland, Ohio to Little Rock. I don't know, somewhere. But um, we're going to do a, a, a done, real, done. real goodbye. And for me personally, this is quite special because the last time I was on this stage holding this in my hand, I was a cruise director. I was slim. <laughs> I wasn't fat. <laughs> you don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to do a little fat, not, not like a huge... I'm not... I'm going to do that again. Can you do the small fat? Because you did not really big one. I was slim. Not fat. <laughs> Shih Tzu. That's the best. Oh, those, that was 1991. Oh my goodness. The memories walking around this ship for me are just off the charts. I was walking um, on the top deck where we used to have, uh, we used to call the sun deck. And when I first came on board as a 20-something cruise director, I looked at my idol, the staff captain. His name was Fabio. <laughs> and I looked at him as a young cruise director and I watched him walk around that deck in his speedos. He was the king of the ship. The women went mad for him. And the, the men went mad for him. And I wanted to be him. I remember this like it was yesterday. I said, Fabio, what is your secret? He said, John, John, listen to me. Get a potato. Put it in your bathing suit. You will be the king of the Lido deck. I went to the chef, I got the biggest potato I could. I put it in my speed bathing costume and I walked across Lido and the women ran screaming in terror. I said, Fabio, you said to me if I put a potato in my bathing suit, I would be king of Lido deck. He said, John, put it in the front. Don't, don't, don't do that. That's, that's far too much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honor for me to be here with you. I know so many of you so well. I know all of you are going to take such great care of the crew. I know when the uh, cast have finished performing their show tonight and through the cruise, you'll show them how much you appreciate it. They've been together for months. These are their farewell shows they'll never perform together as a cast they're going to go to different ships little side stories to everything you see the crew members who are serving you the crew members who are cleaning the crew who are working so hard while you're asleep to have the ship looking incredible for when you wake up they will leave they will say their goodbyes and they will go on vacation or to another ship we don't want to say goodbye we have to say goodbye but I know that all of you will make this goodbye so very special, right? Yes. Uh, so without further ado, I've got to go backstage and uh, put my costume on because I'm part of the show. In all seriousness, please thank our interpreter. Doesn't she do a wonderful job? Watch. Just take a look at how they perform the shows. They actually perform it. And if, please, I don't know your name, sorry. Kim, if you see Kim, please go up to her, shake her hand and say Shih Tzu. <laughs> Alex, come
Come on back here because I know you've got to introduce the show. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Get your phone out. We're going to do a selfie. I'm going to post this on the Facebook page tomorrow. And I want everybody um, to see how much fun you're having. This lighting is horrible. What do you want to do about it? You're the cruise director. Don't take that. Francis, can you kill the stage lights for a second, please? I don't know if you can. Well, that's much better, isn't it? That's fabulous. <laughs> Brilliant. Just turn the house lights up full if you can. That should work. There you go. There we go. All right. Very good. I know Everybody you... wave after three. We've got all of you in. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I will leave you with Alex. I'll see you around. Uh, tomorrow, one o'clock is the Q&A. Then I will be in the lobby tomorrow night for Elegant Night. If any of you want to take a, a photo, I will be there. And, pardon? Oh, that's the dance captain. She's from Liverpool. Oh, I've got to go. I left my wallet backstage. Giant <laughs> heel, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.